Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another junk journal project share that I am so excited to share with you. This is one that I have been working on for a couple weeks on and off now. This is my daughter's birthday present, so I'm very excited to give it to her today. Today is her birthday. She really is into the whole unicorn mermaid thing, but I tend to like a more realistic mermaid look so that's what I went with here which I'm sure she will too <laughs> so I'm super excited so about I it. made this out of a one inch bound book it's a little chunky <laughs> I didn't plan on it getting so chunky but you guys know I'm not a less is more kind of girl so yeah it was bound to happen so here on the cover I used paper from the Michaels Mermaid stack. That is this paper here. I only used a few sheets out of it and some of the cut aparts. The other paper stack that I used for the majority of the book is this Beach House paper stack from the Paper Studio. I wanted to use more of a nautical themed paper stack. This was the only one that I could find in the stores that I really liked, so I'm really happy how it turned okay, out. Okay, so here in the cover I used a couple papers that I picked up at Michael's. I really liked this gold paper because of the scaly look. It really made me think of a mermaid tail. And then this shimmery blue is also from Michael's. This is a canvas fabric that I stamped that main image on throughout the book. This is what I used as the main image. This is some burlap fabric that I picked up at Meyer. This is some trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and then I just added a scrap there. So that is the cover. Let's get inside here. So here this paper is also from Michaels. This is the stamp Irene just sent me in some friend mail. Thank you so much, Irene. I am so excited to use those. Oh my goodness, I just love them. So here's that paper. I did a lot of stitching throughout the book. I added cheesecloth here. And then this is just a little journaling spot here. There's lots of tucks in this book. <laughs> so here I'm just giving her this. Stamp for her birthday. Something else I use throughout this book are these postcards. I ordered mine online, but I have seen them at Hobby Lobby before. This is the artist here, and you get a whole stack of 36 postcards. So I thought that would help since there's not a lot of realistic mermaid stuff out there right now. I just stuck to the nautical, and I thought these would be great journaling cards. So I also went through and added little punches on the journaling cards that I made. And then here's that girl again. And then I added a lot of fabric pieces that are vintage as little tabs throughout the book. This is a stamp set that I just had in my stash. Everything is tea dyed, of course. And then I added, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, a little bit, some gold inked starfish and seahorses around as well. And here's a little flip out, some more journaling cards, stamping, and here's another pull out journaling card, some ledger paper, glassine bag, some more journaling spots. This is a vintage, it's not a doily, but it's one of those linens that they would sit on a dresser, you know, and put like a vase or a lamp on. So I just cut the decorative piece off of there. I thought this trim reminded me of shells. And then I just stitched that lace down. And I left it a little long so it could hang and just be pretty. So then here's a dictionary page. And I picked this page because it has the word art on there. Oop. Some graph paper with stamping. Another tuck with some journaling cards. This is a paper clip that I put this little seashell charm on. And another little journaling spot. Here's one of the gold mermaids from the Michael stamp set. I used those two mermaids. They were realistic enough, so those were fun to play with. Some music paper. This is the only card in the postcard set with mermaids. 
I wish there was more, but that's all right. They're super cute. Then here's the center, which I made a double tuck spot, added a couple little hearts to my strings, and some journaling cards, some more journaling cards, some stamping in the corners. This little paper clip, I made him out of a real starfish, so I'm not sure how long he'll last because he's fragile, but I thought it was super cute and I was very glad that it stuck. So these I picked up at Michael's in the little, what are they? It's like the little area where you can build your own fairy gardens and stuff. They have all those little miniatures. That's where I picked those up. So I really like that. Some more pages. I also made a couple bookmarks out of this coral colored twine with these beads that I picked up at Michael's. There's just some stamping. More pockets and tuck spots and journaling spots. These were also at Michael's in the clearance section. I just thought they were a fun touch for when she opens it and looks through it. Obviously, they don't function. She doesn't have to keep it in there. She doesn't want to, but another pull-out journaling card. There's more gold stamping from those Michael stamps. journaling spot here, graph paper. There's another little miniature clip I made. I really like those. Oh, and I forgot. That was holding this envelope on the other side that I just stitched and stamped on and added some paper for extra journaling. Lasting bag, ledger paper. This one I sewn down the middle, so it had like two separate journaling cards there. Paper, a postcard. And this is another tuck spot, some more journaling cards. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the book that I am so excited about. So this was another piece of that linen, one of those linen, yeah, placemat things that you would put under a vase or something on a table. And I just thought that looks like a mermaid tail. And I was so excited to cut that piece off and to put it along the edge. So very excited about that. I think it makes the journal. I just love it. So I stitched that with some lace here and I just added it to the edge of the page and I love that <laughs> and that's you know one of a kind thing you can't go out and buy that so I was very excited to find something like that in my things so here I had actually forgotten to add the bookmarks I wanted to add so down the center of the two signatures I added this lace and I just wove those pieces of twine through there I'm really happy how that turned out. I think it's pretty. It doesn't look like I forgot. It looks like I did it on purpose. <laughs> so here's another pull-out journaling card, another journaling spot here. Another postcard. Put that back in there. More ledger paper. Here's another piece of that. I just really liked the blue, so I added that in there too from my stash. More glassine bags with journaling cards in here. Here's another flip out, more journaling space, another one of those little picks from that clearance set. This is some of my favorite paper. I use a muffin pan to get that transfer, and I just love it. Another pull-out journaling card. Piece of that dictionary. This one's really fun. Super fun. And then some of the cards that I made, I just added a little punch just for cuteness. Here's another piece of that linen. Another pretty postcard. 
some more text spots. Journaling cards everywhere in this one. So here's the center of this signature. I really liked this image. Added my hearts. And then these are cut aparts from that Michael stack. I just trimmed it down to fit. This was some scrapbook paper that looked like notebook paper, so I liked that. From that Michael stack. Another pocket. Another journaling card. If you hear noises from the yard, that is my husband. Another flip up. This one had mermaid. <laughs> so that's there. Here's another little piece of that linen that I used here. Oops. Journaling spot, graph paper, paper. This is actually some old letterhead from my grandfather's business back, oh man, when I was a child. So, yes, this is here, but this is not his information anymore. <laughs> so, but I just thought that was super cool. So, that's kind of special to us. I have a whole bunch of this. I'm super excited. And then here are some journaling cards again. And we're getting to the end of the book. Another postcard. Another pocket here. And then the end of the book. Thank you again, Irene, for those stamps. I will think of you every single time. I just love it. And then there's the back. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I am definitely loving these journals. They are so much fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are doing awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.